Hi guys, welcome back to Cheesy Crafts. In this video, I am finally going to be able to show you how I created or organized myself for the Christmas season that's upon us. I am using the 12 by 12 paper pad from Craftsmith. This is a pad, paper pad that I picked up from Michaels. And I'm sorting through the paper that I'm going to be working with. However, for the actual notebook itself, I ended up using this silver with snowflakes all over. So initially, I am going to, I don't know why I did it in this order, but I'm going to decorate the front of what's going to be the notebook covers. And I'm essentially creating using washi tape and a little square or rectangular to simulate a gift and that little bow that you guys see is a paper bow as well I'm gonna adhere that to the front and I wanted to create some like a notebook that would help me stay organized for Christmas and this is where that idea this idea came from um, I'm not sure if it defines like a traveler's uh, notebook but I guess it does it can be so right now I am just using regular copy paper this is just simple white paper that you would use on any printer or office printer I guess very thin and I'm folding it on in half one page at a time I don't know what else to tell you guys this project was so long like it took me forever and I honestly have like four hours of footage that I needed to go through and edit because I literally sat here from like 4 30 in the morning to like 12 on a weekend that I was actually off and just try to get it done but I was honestly this has been the most like the project I've ever done that I've been the most proudest of is that how you say it proudest most proud of so right now I obviously the copy paper is hanging off a little bit that's because um they're eight and a half by 11 and i'm gonna trim just a little bit off the edges the actual size of the notebook is eight by 11 and a quarter so i'm just trimming off a little bit off of it and i am going to come down you guys didn't see it because i did it off camera but that pink notebook if you guys saw I picked it up from the Target um, dollar spot or the bullseye section and I measured where the holes were for the notebook and I had already done that off camera so now I'm just going through and punching holes for on uh, that white paper the copy paper I'm just gonna call it copy copy paper I punched the hole three sheets at a time and I ended up using six sheets total, which is going to give me 12 pages to work with um, once, in, of course, they're inside the notebook. So right here, I'm just trimming off a little bit off the notebook. Like I said, it's um, eight by 11 and a quarter. And I am going to, yep, now it's even. And I wanted to show you this idea in case you don't have like a long stapler or like a notebook helper. I took a regular office stapler, opened it up, and I didn't have a mat. So I just put a paper towel underneath it and I pressed down. And it's enough to punch the holes with the staple with the staple however as you can see right now I'm like pushing the staplers closed with my fingers because obviously with the paper paper not paper towel with the towel underneath it um, prevents the stapler from closing the staple if that makes any sense 
so I'm just kind of press pressuring um, with my fingers to make sure that it's here and that the pages bend properly and um, really quickly I am going to show you the one of the layouts that I've created um, at the end of this video you guys will see the final product for the entire notebook and I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to do the dashboards that I created for my notebook and I honestly don't know if I'm gonna create like film I filmed it but I don't know if I'm gonna edit the pocket project neither like the shaker um, pocket so I think I'm just gonna show it at the end of the video like the complete notebook and you guys can see um, but how I did those individually I think it'll just be too long to be honest so um, right now just removing that adhesive of the Santa and I ended up putting a little bit of silver paper on the bottom so that it he stands out a little bit right now I am going to create a little banner at the bottom of the Santa uh, card just making sure it's straight before I adhere it and this is like a journaling card or a postcard that I've already had so this was not part of the kit uh, of the paper pad however the pad did come with um, like images that you could cut out and by all means feel free to use that if you want to or if you have already Christmas in your collection I'm adding a little bit of silver washi tape to the edges of the pages only because I didn't want it to be to look so empty I'm gonna do the same thing in the bottom and then I had already used the stickers that says gift at the top so I didn't want to remove them so honestly I kind of cheated um, so I ended up adding the silver washi tape only on the edges of the top page because like I said I didn't want to remove all the stickers again so when you see me add that little bit it's just honestly it's just that little piece to make it look as if I ran it through the top but I didn't really and then very simple I'm just gonna complete um, putting gift list and of course this page is going to be used to write down the names of all the people in my family or friends that um, I plan to give Christmas gifts to this year just to keep track make sure I don't forget anybody and then at the bottom of the page I am going to pick up a little gift sticker and that's going to complete the layout anyways I'm going to walk you through it so here's the front and all of this was using a 12 by 12 12 by 12 paper pad um, kit that I picked up from Michaels so it's just a little bow with I try to make it seem like it was a gift hopefully that's what it comes out with the very first page is the gift list in here I plan to write of course everybody that's going to be receiving gifts from um, from us this is just a continuation because we have a lot of people to give gifts to <laughs> this is a list um, that I'm just gonna plan to write them in they're not gonna all be perfectly straight but just a list of those people I plan to send cards to and then shopping list this is going to be like the Christmas gift list. No, not the gift list. The, <laughs> the Christmas gift. shopping list, like what I'm buying for each person. Like if I buy, you know, lotions or whatnot. 
this is just a continuation of the shopping it says all-time favorite because I do like to shop this is just a continuation of the shopping list on this section I have the Christmas gift DIY just to write down ideas on projects I want to try out to give them as gifts of course the address list of course some of our gifts are going to end up being mailed out so or the cards are going to be mailed out so just a place to write addresses all that is addresses and then here begins my grocery list and then our Christmas dinner of the meals that I plan and the side dishes we I plan to make and that's going to complete my notebook Christmas project. It didn't end up being the rose gold and soft pink Christmas that I wanted. Honestly, it was kind of hard. Um, but it's going to go here in my notebook and my notebook isn't complete. I think I've, let me zoom out a little bit. My notebook's not complete. I still have to add a few um, extra pages, but I did want to show you what I created so you could pretty much remove this and just carry this in your purse if you don't want to carry the bulky one but just actually I forgot to punch a hole on this one so give me one second And then I've, you guys saw this also, I've made the dashboards for, um, you know, if I want to do a budget, like a budget tab, or if I want to do, um, knock off a list of people I've already bought gifts for, or I've made for them. So that's it. The only thing I have to remain to do for this is going to be a pocket with a document protector and I'm going to be working on that and then that's going to honestly complete um, this video. I don't know if I want to film that. I probably do but it's Sunday. I need to get working on other things. I've been filming all weekend and so um, we'll see you next time. Um, I'll let you know if I do the pocket um, folder. Just be on the lookout for the video if I do do it. And um, thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Bye.